Morning folks and welcome back. I'm out on the Norfolk Broads again today with Ginge and it's really nice to be out. I haven't had a chance to film for the last couple of weekends so apologies for no for no film. Uh, the weekend before last I was actually walking on the Norfolk coastal path with Mrs in the woods um, but I wasn't filming we just um, we just walked for the enjoyment of the walk. And then last weekend I had so much stuff to do at home I just didn't get a chance to, to get out. Yeah it's lovely. We've got a bit of a mixed bag of weather today. Um, we had some really lovely bright sunshine when we set off and now some very sinister looking clouds are rolling in so we may get a bit of a, a bit of a wetting a bit later on in which case I'll have to obviously switch camera. We paddled up the River Thurn from Potterheim underneath the beautiful medieval bridge there and um, we've just taken a left up Candle Dyke towards Hickling Broad. It's a pretty big expanse of open water and we're going to go and have a little explore and then head up towards Horsey Mere. Well that was all a bit sudden and wet, but uh, that rainy weather system seems to have moved on a bit. We've got some nice blue clouds, we should be alright for another couple of hours I think. I think there is a chance there might be a bit more rain this afternoon, but we'll see how we go. This first wider bit of water that we're paddling through now is called Higham Sound and this leads up to Hicklin Broad. Um, I've said it before on videos about the broads when I'm paddling in the broads. This is a, an artificial, a man-made water system. There are several rivers that flow through this area but the wider areas which are basically wide shallow lakes and called broads are old peat excavations and then the rivers that flow through this wetland area breached into those excavated areas and flooded them and now we have these kind of wide areas. So they are very much open water but um, they're very shallow. We're out onto the main broad now and it has got considerably windier, <laughs> big open area of water, wind can pick up speed along here. And we've got a whole load of sailing boats out ahead of us. Hicklin Broad was used during the First World War as a seaplane base or as a sort of reserve seaplane base. And you can kind of see why. It's a very big area, plenty of 
plenty of distance for those old slow biplanes, I guess, to take off and land. I don't think there's very much evidence of that period in time except for a slipway at the other end of the broad. There is a good pub right down the far end. I don't know whether we're going to go that far, um, but if you're out here for a bit longer than we are on a nice day where there aren't any COVID restrictions going on, it might be a nice place to head for and um, have a nice well-earned pint of cold beer. We've just pulled over to the side of the broad into the into the reeds just to get out of the wind for five minutes and um, have a look at the map. We've, we think we found a little spot where we might be able to stop and cook a bit of lunch. Um, it's only about got sort of half 11 now, but to be honest, we've got a bit of clouds, cloud, rainy, cloudy nastiness forming again. So um, I think it'd be a good idea if we could get somewhere, you know, find somewhere to, to stop now before that weather comes in. Uh, it looks like there's a, a little dike on the other side of the broad, so we're going to hack across, dodging these uh, sailor boats, and uh, try and find the opening to that, and then we should stand a better chance of finding some firm ground to uh, to stop and, um, and cook some lunch. Because everywhere around the broad is just reeds, and you can't actually get to the land. It's just you know, it's just thick reeds. Go to Max. Good girl. So we're going to have a nice cup of tea and a bit of lunch. Ginger's bought his uh, fire trough from Richard Outdoors. These are really good, these. Yeah, I've used those like, wood wool things a couple of times. Eh? They burn yeah. They burn for a good old amount of time as well, don't they? They it's do, long yeah. Get everything going. Right, Richard. Let's see how it goes. It works! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Carefully measured, as you can see. Absolutely. Builder's tea. I even brought a strainer, look. Can you? Oh, look at that, look. I found that just near Wheaton. 
just in the ground. I couldn't really? believe it. Yeah, I was going to buy one. I was trying to find one everywhere and I couldn't. Honestly, God, I went up there and stayed up there for a few nights and was walking along and I saw just sort of sticking out the ground. I thought, I wonder what. Perfect. Trainer. I can't believe it. I just <laughs> meant to be. Right. There we go. The best teapot on planet Earth, that is. That is a beaut. You are so lovely, isn't you? <laughs> You're brilliant. Here's Nash, he's not trying to tip me out of the canoe. Oh, I think I'll I think I'll go a couple okay. as it's Sunday. It's healthy brown sugar as well. Lovely. <laughs> it's getting there. I think it's I'll push one bit in and push out the other end, don't I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is a good toy, Richard. <laughs> Touch yeah. that bit. That's it. Ooh. There, dude. Awesome. Look at that. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah, it's for a lovely paddleback. A lovely easy, wind behind us. Easy paddleback. <laughs> mm. That cup of tea was needed after that paddle, I tell you. Uh, I'm in charge of lunch today, so we're having some Polish sausage with pepper, red onion, and mushrooms. I'm going to fry them up, and then I'm going to add some baked beans, and we're just going to mix it up into a kind of like a beanie. Thing. <laughs> and uh, we'll have that with some flatbreads. Well, just as luck would have it, as soon as I started to prepare lunch, the weather has come in, it started to rain. We knew it was going to, we watched this weather system sort of coming in, but yeah, gonna need to get a tarp up. Good, mate. That is brilliant, isn't it? it is Cheers, good. dude. That's unbeatable. Yeah. Do, you, do you know, I, I've tried lots and lots of teas, but this was the best always.
Well, it's the perfect day actually for this sort of grub, isn't it? Oh, yes, absolutely. Stonking, this is great. There you go, look, I'm going to put that there, and the rain can do the washing up. Dinner bell. That's the dinner bell. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, man, that looks great. There you go, dude. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is man. my pleasure. God, I haven't got to be that. I'm seriously not going to be out of paddle after this. <laughs> I'm going to have to come, oh. have to come <laughs> and sit under here because I'm getting dripped on right there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. There we go. Mm -mm. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Oh, nearly forgot. I have hot sauce. Oh. If you want it. Mm -mm. Always. Is that some from the American? That dog? is, yeah, that's from um, Michael at PCF. Hot sauce, Perco's Chili Farm. It's not sort of like Indiana Reaper, whatever it's called, is it? This one is called Keto. Keto, right. Keto, as in the keto diet, I think. But... Oh, like uh, ketosis. I yeah. All oh, right. Tabasco, gooey, habanero, jalapeno, fresno, vinegar sea salt, raspberry ketones, and collagen. Ooh. Collagen. Right, yeah. Okay, it's did, good. You, did you try it? Yeah, of course. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> is it? It's a warm one, is it? It's runny, isn't it? <laughs> That's the trouble. It comes in quicker than you expect, so you just yeah. end up shoving more on than you want. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That creeps up and bites you, doesn't mm. it? It does. <laughs> that is glorious. Yeah, I'll go. There you go, boys. One for you. Yeah, there's one for you as well. Look. Okay, mate. No, you've had yours, you <laughs> great big bully. Come on. <laughs> See what's out <laughs> there. Big for little dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lunch was absolutely spot on. Just what was needed on a drizzly old day like today. Some good hot nosh. So we're going to... Uh, Head back now. We're going to have the wind behind us now, which will be great while we paddle back down Hickling Broad. We're almost at the end of Hickling Broad here. We're, we're pretty close to where the um, the pub and the sailing club and everything is. So we're going to head back down and then cut across to Horsey Mere, and then we've got uh, a vehicle parked uh, just off Horsey Mere at the at the uh, mill there. Don't shut, dude. Uh,
as you leave Hicklin Broad and head into Higham Sound, look out for a channel on the left called Meadow Dyke. That's a cut through to Horsey Mere. Obviously, if you're coming towards Hicklin Broad, it'll be on the right. And that's where we're just about to head into now. Just come into Horsey Mere, another bit of open water and the wind again. <laughs> We've been uh, protected from it along that channel there by the reeds on either side. But as soon as you come into open water it just hits us and it's broadsiding us at the moment. And unfortunately we've got to cross this bit of water to get to the um, to get to the mill. This is the most northeasterly of all the of all the broads and uh, it's called a mere apparently because it has uh, banked up sides or something like that. Oh, this is a struggle. And we're actually only about two kilometres from the North Sea here. We've just got uh, blown right into the reeds here. We've just been bombarded. These rope waves are coming in side on. Oh. I think I'm going to have to try and get out and head into the wind a little bit up ah, that way. So that, um, so that we can uh, get across. We, we really have to go directly across this bit of water here. We have no choice.
Well, that last little bit got a bit hairy there, actually. <laughs> we were on the wrong side of the broad. Wind was just coming at us from the side, blowing us into the reeds. And as soon as you're into the reeds there, you just get pummeled. The waves are all coming in and the boat's rocking everywhere. Maggie was uh, unsettled and uh, I had to put the camera away because I was a bit worried we were going to go over. <laughs> um, we managed to get across across the board to the other side now and we're now in the lee of the um, reeds so it's a bit sheltered but I think I'm probably going to sign off here. We're, we're really close I can see the mill across the broad from where we are now and, um, and I will just leave the last little bit as the end of the video if you see what I mean. Ginger's just rocked up. Hey buddy. Man. That was a bit of a dramatic end to the paddle. That side. was a bit, wasn't it? I thought I was stuck there. I thought, I can't go on. <laughs> oh, that was so hard. Yeah. Oh. A couple of times I got just trapped behind this bunch of reeds and I thought, I'm, That's gonna, it. I'm just going to have to stay here. Yeah. I'll let the dogs <laughs> roam free and I'll just die here. <laughs> oh, that was hard. That was good. Yeah. It was good. It was hard, hard work, but yeah. A hard end to the paddle. Yeah. That's been a good day. We've had a bit of everything today, haven't we? We certainly have, yeah. We just need a bit of snow and lightning. We'll yeah. be laughing, I'll we'll be laughing, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No, I nice think one. the drive back to Cornwall now would just be a doddle compared Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ginger's now got a five hour drive. Five hours, didn't you say? Yeah, six. six. Six hour drive well, back more, down more to. More from here, it's seven, I should think. Yeah. All the way back down to, to Cornwall. A bit of a sleep at the wheel just to yeah. gain a bit. Yeah, yeah that'd be all right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, nice but, one, buddy. Thanks, yeah, thanks, for, thanks for paddle. Good one, dude. Absolutely That's been fun. a great day. Yeah. Great food. Good and tea. These two. Yeah. Good company. Yeah, definitely. I think these two will be glad to get back in the van. I see. Yeah, I'll drive off. Maggie as well. What, what have we done to deserve this? Maggie's just sitting in all that slop, all that water slopping about in the bottom of the canoe. She can't be very comfy. Not long now, sweetheart. You know what? I reckon by the time I get home, I'm going to have a six pack in. <laughs> yeah. Rather than one pack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.